You may have arrived here from a link from my main video about the old Wickham Sports Centre plant room, built in 1975, demolished 2016. Here I will go into more detail about how something works. It's not a long video, but my main aim is that you hopefully will learn something new in under two minutes. This video demonstrates what's inside the sand filters and how they work. To see the main plant room video or to tour around the building, click the cards that appear above or check the video description. Sand filters are half filled with sand which also acts as a filter, collecting muck and dirty particles and other you know what's out of the water. Water is pumped into the top of the tank which filters through the sand and leaves the bottom through laterals which allow water but not the sand to pass. After leaving the filter, the water is reheated, treated and returned to the swimming pool. Dirt gets trapped in the first few inches of the sand which causes resistance and degrades the sand filter's performance. As muck builds up, resistance increases and the filter would need to be cleaned, also known as backwashing. To do this, a tank is isolated and backwashed and is done by pumping water in the reverse direction from the bottom upwards. So the dirt on top of the sand is filtered out and taken into a drain and discarded. This cleans the sand which restores the performance of the filter. The sand is replaced every five years by removing the old sand from the access panel at the bottom and refilling it from the top. The water resistance can be read from these gauges. The left one shows the incoming water pressure. The right gauge shows the outgoing pressure. The higher the readings, the higher the resistance, which indicates when backwashing is required. 